Hey, smart home buyers and refinancers, today's Red Friday video, I'm gonna be talking about escrow refunds, what are they, and do all VA loans have them? So we're gonna be covering those two questions for sure, probably a lot more, to help you understand the basics of getting an escrow refund. Hey everybody, it's Eric with another Red Friday video here with low VA rates. Before I forget, look down there to your right and make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way you always know what we're talking about. You'll shortly become an expert yourself. So today, the first question I wanna answer is, what is an escrow refund? Well, most mortgages out there, FHA, conventional, VA, they come with an escrow account. And what that is, is a portion of your monthly mortgage payment that gets set aside into this account every single month when you make your payment, and that covers your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance, okay? I always refer to it kind of as like a piggy bank. You're gonna pay a $1,000 mortgage payment every month, a couple hundred bucks might go into your piggy bank so we can pay your taxes and your insurance when they're due. Now, when you refinance your mortgage, you're going to set up a brand new escrow account at closing. All the leftover money that was sitting in your piggy bank, your previous escrow account with whatever mortgage company or lender you're with, well, that's eventually going to get sent back to you almost always in the form of a check. We call that an escrow refund. Okay, now the second question I wanna answer is, do all VA loans receive an escrow refund? Okay, and now let's, let's think about it. Number one, there are purchase loans. We've talked about that. Now, because escrow refunds only occur when you already have an escrow account on your mortgage, you're not gonna receive an escrow refund when you buy a new home, okay? Or when you purchase a house. Let's talk about refinance loans. We talk about those all the time here at low VA rates. As for refinance loans, there's not necessarily a guarantee that you're gonna get an escrow refund because we've seen people that have zero money in their escrow account or they're overdrawn. Just like you can overdraw a checking account, your escrow account can actually be negative. So whether or not you get an escrow refund depends on the timing of your refinance. You will get an escrow refund if both your homeowner's insurance and or your property taxes have not been paid yet and therefore you're sitting on a balance. There's still money in that piggy bank. Now, if you refinance around the time when your taxes or your insurance are due, there's a possibility that the money that was sitting in that escrow account in order to pay your taxes or your insurance gets dispersed and you draw your account into the negative or you go down to a very low amount. But the, the simple answer is this. When we pay off your old mortgage company at the time of the refinance, whatever's sitting in your escrow account, that's going to get refunded to you, generally speaking, in the form of a check. Now, let's talk about maybe some tricks or some little things that you can do to increase the likelihood that you get an escrow refund. There, there's not a whole lot you can do, but one thing you can do is try to time your refinance correctly. Now, let me just pause for a moment and tell you, the only thing, the main thing you should be worried about when you're refinancing, when it comes to timing, is getting the lowest possible interest rate. But where interest rates have been low and are staying low for quite some time, maybe you can play with this a little bit and time it around when you're going to get the largest escrow refund. Now, in order to do this, you'll need to find out when both your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance are due. These are almost always gonna be due on different dates, and you may even have more than one property tax due date. A lot of states have you know, school tax and county tax, or they've got borough taxes. Look, there's all sorts of taxes out there, and a lot of states have different due dates. But once you know these dates, you can try to schedule your refinance to close before any money is gonna be leaving that escrow account. But like I said, there's, there's no guarantee that's going to happen. And more importantly than trying to maximize your escrow refund, maximize your interest rate savings by timing your refinance correctly when interest rates are the lowest. Now your current mortgage servicer can choose to pay your taxes early. A lot of states incentivize lenders or servicers, which we've talked about, and say, we're gonna give you a 10% discount on your taxes if you pay them early. So just because they're due in June, and you say, hey, I'm gonna close in May, be careful. Perhaps you live in an area where there's an incentive to have your taxes paid out early. Now, if your refinance closing is delayed, all this careful planning that you've done around due dates goes right out the window. So to us, the extra effort of trying to plan for an escrow refund isn't really worth the headache 
okay? Fourth question I like to answer. If I do get an escrow refund, how much am I gonna get back? Kinda like to use the whiteboard a little bit today, right? Oh, that marker's no good. Let's get it out of here. Huh? People wanna know how much am I gonna get? Well, the first fact you have to consider is how much your property taxes and insurance costs, since that affects how much money is sitting in your escrow account, okay? Number two, how recently your property taxes or insurance premiums were, were paid. If they were just paid out, you're gonna decrease the amount of money in that piggy bank until you start making more mortgage payments. Let me give you a quick example. Um, let's say you have 10 months of mortgage payments that you've been making using that same example I used before. Let's just say it's $1,000 a month is your total mortgage payment, P-I-T-I. We've talked about P-I-T-I here. Principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. This taxes and insurance is that escrow account. So let's just say it's $800 for P&I and it's $200 for taxes and insurance. You've made 10 total mortgage payments. 10 times 200 is you have $2,000 sitting in your escrow account, okay? That's what's gonna be in there if you've made 10 payments. And then you refinance before you make your 11th payment, as long as there's no tax payment being due or any insurance payment that is due, your escrow balance should be $2,000. You can always verify that by just pulling out your most recent mortgage statement or logging online and going into your account and it will always list your escrow balance, okay? Whatever that escrow balance is at the time that the refinance is completed, that's what you should expect to receive in the form of a refund. It's as simple as that. What's in your escrow account balance at the time that your refinance is completed, not started, but completed, within about 30 days after your loan is done, you will get that sent to you in the form of a check 95% of the time. So I hope you learned something new today. You've probably heard escrow refund many, many times. You should be much more clear on what it is and how it works after watching today. Hopefully you turn in, hopefully you tune a little bit. Hopefully you tune in next week. You know what? I'll be wearing red. I hope you do too. We'll continue to teach you guys very, very useful information. Thanks for watching.